Despite the inclement weather, scores of Barbadians seized the opportunity to tour the facilities at the Barbados Defense Forces St. Anne's Base. Tents from all essential services in this country lined the parade square, giving patrons an opportunity to ask questions and in some cases even try on gear. The Barbados Police Service's display was a crowd pleaser, as Constable Wayne Beckles highlighted a new type of speed camera being used by local cops. It takes the, the date, time, and distance that you are via from the person. Also do a record. So we can be able to play back the record and we can zoom in on the registration number that we'll be able to tell you next day we come to your house. We'll be able to tell you what thing we show you the image in the, the radar to show that this will happen. So I know a lot of people say not them there, there was not their vehicle. We have video footage now to show yes, you were there at the time and place. He confirms body cameras are also in use. So when we stop people, we put on the body cam. The, the cam records 20 seconds before, so we stop you know, the cars. So we in the way people, we turn on the body cam, and every all the images on the body cam. So we, use, we can use the body cam in back at court or for evidence. We use the body cam. Corporal Raymond Daniel of the BDF says while the extensive weapons display was quite popular, there are many other career paths people could pursue within the army. Well, you know the generation of the so once they come and see the weapons, that's what everybody's interested in. Um, the guys going to want to come and see the different equipment that we carry, because we don't just do operations. We do assistance to the civil, uh, the civil uh, people in Barbados, so we even do um, firefighting. We do a little bit of medical, electrician, carpentry, uh, work on vehicles, which is mechanics. Um, we have clerks. We, got, we, we are a whole variety when it comes to the Army. The open day was well received by members of the public. The guns, <laughs> most interesting. Um, what I thought was interesting about that is the lengths that the bullets can go once fired. And I am, I am very concerned about the amount of gun violence there is in this country. The fact that we have so much equipment available to the citizens of Barbados, you know, in such a small island, it really is a wonderful experience one that I would encourage all Barbadians to come out from time to time when they have the opportunity you know and see and, and, and bring along the children. The other booths on display included the Barbados Prison Service, the Fire Service and the Emergency Ambulance Service. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.